neck stuck in what's cement. Now to me it's evident. Moves that I be making always come with consequence. Next level shit, lyrics to infinity It can't be a top ten, cause it isn't ten to me Low eyes when I creep, I'm comfortable with the Welcome to the GMC TV exclusive I got my man Raw Frank good. Out from Brooklyn Call him Frankenstein Bars They ain't yeah, ready for this man So what's your view on this music nowadays, Raw? Well, my view on me music nowadays is just it's no balance you know I mean everything in life should usually have a balance you know what I'm saying because it gets deeper in the music after a while when you think about it you know what I'm saying but there's just no balance you know everybody is about a party nowadays you know what I'm saying they ain't no I hear that I hear that ain't no real like everybody you know, think they rock stars but they broke yeah exactly <laughs> you know what I'm saying champagne bushes you know what I'm saying beer money like you know, but at the same time, like, I'm not here, I'm not the type of dude to just be out to just to shit on anybody else because, I mean, you need party music, you know what I'm saying? But my point is, being that everybody else is doing that shit, let me get to this real shit. You, you know already what know, That's that. what I do. This is, this is, this is hip-hop for me. Like, you know, I don't know about everybody else, but the idea of hip-hop has been distorted. I hear that, I bro. Hey, man. shit out there, like, you know? How long you been putting that for? Look. Uh... Yeah, I mean, 2001, I say a solid 10 years. Solid I mean, 10 years? Solid 10 years. And it all really started out as poetry, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Some sort of a poet type of thing, whatever, just putting words together with expression, a lot of expression behind it, you know? But, um, definitely, it definitely started out on some poetry shit that changed over time into some rap shit. As you get mature, this shit, right? Yeah, and it also came from a, from a challenge from my cousin. Shout out to my nigga Keith. What's good, big? Yeah, that's you know what, what it saying? is, yeah. He came out with a channel. Like, yeah, you think you can rap and shit. Then after a while, we started having little challenges and you, shit. You online right now. You've been making out this music, but it took a while to get there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's, it definitely started out with a uh, with an idea at the lunch table, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And, you know, it's that's how all ideas, real great ideas start. They start out like real humble, real humble tips, or whatever. So I'm definitely grateful to be around cats that able that was able to like you know help me and so give you that forward, inspiration. You know, bring you know what I mean, bring that inspiration to me. Like you know what I'm saying, because without that, I would be like yeah, be just like you know your average MC that's like you know depending on other niggas to get studio time type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Niggas gotta do what they gotta do in order to really get their sound out there. And who knows your sound better than you? Of course. Hip hop wise, you know what I mean? Your dictionary. We already we already heard the backpack. You know what I mean? Get, they give them a little bit more insight to, you know what I mean, who's your who's your who the people you listen to in your in your tape deck, so to speak. Man, number one, like I have I'm real selective with that shit because that's just like, you know, what I live by, you know what I mean? It's hip hop your culture. Number one, I would have to say Big, you know what I mean, Notorious. Well, now, currently known as Notorious. I know him as Biggie Small, but like, I don't go back with him or nothing like that. Let him that's know. The music. That's the, the era where he was Biggie Smalls. Like, that's that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? The BK stand MC, up. Word. Number one MC, I feel like, you know what I mean, it's an opinion, of course. I feel like that's the number one MC in the world. The whole world, like, you know what I'm saying? But, I have that as a number one, you know, Styles P, of course, SP the Ghost, Escobar, Nas. Shouts to the Locks. Shouts to LOX, Jada, you know what I mean? I mean, it's... A, they it's, paved the way first, though, bro, I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I mean, or any artist along that avenue, like, you know, I mean... Like I said, like I'm not mean. I don't have no means to shit on nobody or whatever, and what they do, or whatever. But you will never catch a lot of the current shit that's out right now. Me listening to it, like you know what I'm saying. You might have, might see it in my iPod for about a week, but that's about it. That's probably what it's meant to be for, like you know what I'm saying. Hot right now. That whole phrase, hot right now. Of course. I try my best. Shouts out to the council. Niggas try, niggas try their best to like you know not be. And that you classified as hot right now because ain't stay no hot right forever. Now. Word, yep. we on some timeless shit. Like you know what I'm saying? They gotta be timeless with us. Straight like that. Just like that. Well, what we have here is a little joint me and my man's been working on. You, you already know. Uh huh. I mean, it's a remix. 
to a joint by the name of Sink and Swim. I mean, yeah, man, this is a joint off the EP, the self-titled EP. Yeah, let them know, Rob. How many how many uh, songs you got out right now? What you doing? What you working with and stuff, yo? Well, currently I got this, uh, this mixtape by the name of Live from the Rhyme Book. It's on that Okay, com. okay. You know, search Rob Franklin. It usually just pop up on there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And um, it's on there, I mean... No, for nobody, so to speak, nobody or whatever. You know, yeah, right. Exposure and shit on it, you know what I'm saying? So it's a pretty good look, <laughs> you know. And um, definitely looking forward to even more exposure towards that project, along with the one that we're working on now, currently. You know, the EP and all of that. You know. Yeah, tell us about that EP. What you what you bringing on there? You you wanna give a little bit of a what you bringing? I mean, well, what's your sounding like? Before I get into it, let's just give you a little little taste. You know what I'm saying? As you see, this man has his own setup. We in the booth, but this is that grind time. Yeah. You know, that's how we get it done. Yeah, let him know, Rob. That's, that's, that's everybody on real, real music shit. Not trying to make everybody dance. I'm tired right. with this shit, yo. Right. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Take that shit somewhere else, B. Shout out to everybody. That's like sticking to what the fuck they do and not trying to like, you know, stay moving with everybody else with what they doing and all that. This is bullshit. Stick to what you do. This is what we do. Yeah. What she said, she said, be yourself. Don't be Cam. Don't be Jigga. <laughs> don't be Nas. <laughs> yo. Don't be nothing. Be yourself, yo. Word up. Before this interview close out, you know what I mean? I want to ask you. A matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you, I need I need a freestyle. Put these niggas in a check check in a, in a checkmate. All right, well that's not a problem. I mean, can we get a beat queued up? You, know? you can do whatever you like. You got the power in the palm of your hand, so to speak. All right, we just getting into earlier, you know, before we get into the little freestyle joint, you know, do got beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm self producing and shit like that. Of course, that. Rob. Tell them your contacts, yo. Tell them your contacts where to reach you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to definitely post it up, but tell me your contacts. Catch me on Facebook, you know, Mr. Frank 718 uh, YouTube.com slash 718-Rob-Frank. Um, as I said earlier, datpiff.com, search Rob Frank. Fine, I'm out there. Um, Twitter, Rob of course. Frank, at Rob Frank 718 and we always moving. Yeah, you know, gotta keep it moving, man. I mean, I ain't much of a tweet. I don't tweet. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no bird in me. <laughs> you, know, but, um, you know, this is just a means of communication, and I respect that. You know what I'm saying? So we do what we do. You know? My man right here got bars. I ain't ready for Bobby. Bobby Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Shit. Yeah, this is some shit I just, uh, just whipped up. Holla at him. They for sale. Mm. They for sale. Holla at him. Mm. Uh, Man, serious about his craft. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, G to MC behind the lens. You. Yeah. Council. Uh-huh. You know I mean? All day, every day. I'm getting into a little something, you know what I'm saying? It's for something a little quick, you know? Something a little life form. You know? Uh. <clears throat> uh. One, two, mic, check, check. Make way for Rob Frank, he bout to catch wreck Cut a muscle while the next nigga that tryna flex You dancing with the devil, better come with your best steps Your gun and your best vest, match made in heaven The sour wind, the gin, supply drama with the grin I'm hot, lava with the pen, wildin' if you ever try to stop my guap I'm coming in the bad guy, but this one is not dying at the end Back of the long black coat, flying in the wind Chill <laughs> Don't use, ain't even ready for that, yo <laughs> That was something life for him, yo. Yeah. Yo, 
I'll be out here, I'll be out here all day with these with these interviews. I'm gonna get these real MC out there. You know what I mean? That's my goal right now. Shouts to Inf, shouts to Quest, shouts to Jam Young, shouts to Fate, shouts to my man Rob Frank right in front of me. Shouts to the Zombie Squad, shouts to Speak No Evil. I see you, D, I see you. You know what I mean? Let's go get this money, 2011. I'm out. My boss, I really can't stand him He got me running back and forth thinking he man it But I ain't Reggie Wayne and the fact is I'm going insane Wishing give me higher digits since he got me slave living Could be cooking in the kitchen for these music fiends to listen But the facts are, I'm needing this cash So I ask, should I rob him at a big stop and then do the dash Or keep slaving on his Pepsi for this minimum cash Wishing